GM 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 welcome to web3 club in today's video what we are going to learn is how to be create an nft which you cannot transfer only burn this is also called an account bound token or a soul bound token which is like quite a rage right now it is basically a token which is assigned to your address and the only thing that you can do with this token is transfer it back or burn it this token is ideal for things like certificates kyc and stuff like that which is dependent on a specific person and generally these things are issued by a specific entity so we know for a fact that an entity has issued the certificate so it must be right or genuine actually this is the second video that i'm doing on how to create soulbound tokens the first video was a pure erc4973 standard implementation but in today's video what we're going to do is we're going to use the nft code the nft smart contract and turn that into an EIS ERC4973 compliant smart contract so that it has all the methods available for the soul bound token the account bound token specification and it has all the things with which you know uh, NFTs generally talk to each other so that all the current NFT infrastructure like OpenSea other marketplaces can show your soul bound token to you of course you will not be able to transfer it to somebody else because this is why it is a soul bound token and we will throw an error when you try to do that. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. If you want to send me a message, please leave it in the YouTube comments. I try to read all of them. And if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. All right, then let's get started. Just for refreshing our memory, what we are going to do is we are going to go through the ERC, the EIP4973. This has changed between my previous video and today's video. So make sure not to rely on it over too much, but just pick the basic things out of it. The things that we need to implement here are basically an event called attest, an event called revoke, the balance of function, the owner of function and the burn function. The balance of owner of is generally given by the NFT smart contract. Uh, burn function is also something that is there, but we just need to provide to the user uh, to basically call it and we need to emit the correct events at the correct time. So let's get back to our trusted open Zeppelin wizard. Select ERC721 here. Uh, just give it a name, whatever name you want. Soul bound or whatever. And then SLB as the symbol. Uh, base URI you can leave it as it is if you want to give a different token different kind of things to everybody just uh, use the URI storage and send that data every time also make it mintable and auto increment the IDs so now that we have this code ready let's just open this in remix all right we have this code available in remix which is basically just going to mint the soul bound tokens now first thing that we need to do is make sure that the user cannot transfer these tokens now to do that, what we just need to do is open the erc721.sol file. There we will find two functions before transfer and after transfer, which are which act like hooks that we can use to execute something before the transfer or after the transfer. So we will make sure that the user cannot transfer the tokens to somebody else before the transfer. And in the after transfer, we will emit the correct events. Now, how do we find the before transfer and the after transfer functions? It's very easy. Just go back to the wizard. Just click on open Zeppelin contracts. Um, this will take you to a web page where you know you will find the GitHub link. Just go to GitHub uh, in the open Zeppelin contracts. Go to contracts. Uh, the next thing that you want are token and then ERC721 and then ERC721.sol. So the functions are before transfer token and before token transfer and after token transfer. So let me just copy the before token transfer first and let me increase the size, the font size of the code. So I've copied the before token transfer and pasted over here. Now, instead of in after the internal, what I need to do is write override over here. And now in the code part, uh, what we want is basically if if the user is burning the token or receiving the token only in that case uh, we want to move forward so if either the from is address zero or to is address zero because when from is address zero the token is being issued when the to is address zero the token is being burnt all right so if from is address zero or to is address zero okay 
and not just if we need to make this a require statement so require that uh, from or to is address 0 otherwise uh, you can't transfer this token all right so this is the before token transfer that i need and the next thing that i want is the after token transfer that i can copy and simply paste here now in the after token transfer if uh, the the token was you know sent from zero address it was an attest it was basically minted and if it was sent to zero address then it was revoked so we have to um, just emit those events when needed so if uh, from address is address 0 we emit uh, the event attest okay the attest needs a 2 and i believe the token id now we we don't have these two uh, events over here so to to basically bring them just copy them from here and simply paste them i need the another one which is uh, revoke and if else uh, the 2 is address 0 in that case we emit the revoke function uh, the revoke event sorry it should be else if not if else yeah else if uh, the 2 address is 0 then we emit the revoke event all right now we need to add two more methods one for uh, the issuer to basically take the take the take the badge back take the nft back take the soul bound token back and the other for the user to call to get their uh, to take their nft back to basically burn it to send their soul bound token back we already have the name of the function called burn that we need to implement in the case of the user trying to burn it all right so in that case what we need to require is that the owner of the token id should be the message dot sender which is the user and write only token owner can burn it and if the token owner is actually the one who is sending this request then we call underscore burn with the correct token id and move forward so this is how the owner can basically burn their own token the second thing that we need is the revoke function only the owner can call this function and this function is also external and if the owner is calling this function what we do is we call uh, burn with the token the correct token id and that is it this is all you need to create this soulbound token nft kind of thing all right so the next thing that we do is we select the injected web3 we select the correct contract and then we basically deploy it okay once deployed i click on once the uh, transaction pop up comes um, comes up i click on deploy and now I wait for deployment to go through. All right, the transaction has succeeded. So the next thing that I'll do is mint a basically a batch for myself. So I have uh, created the, the metadata already and I have pasted it over here. And I'll send this batch to my own address and paste my address over here, click transact. I click on confirm and just wait for the transaction to get over the transaction is over and now i am on OpenSea trying to log in and just like that you can see that i have received uh, the token the soul bound token by web3 club this is the token that we just generated and you can see that i have received it now i can't now if i try to basically transfer this uh, to some other address let's say i take this address and paste it over here if i click on transfer this will give me an error because this is what we are doing we are trying to not allow the user to transfer but if i go ahead and click on burn with the correct token id and transact this will work and the the token will be out of my reach when that once the transaction succeeds uh, so yeah let me click confirm the transaction has gone through uh, waiting for it to succeed and if i open the test nets uh, the the collection page for this specific token id the specific collection uh, that once the transaction has succeeded as i've seen uh, if i refresh and refresh here as well it should basically change from u to null address because this has gone to the null address and 
uh, you can see the item has been removed from the collection and that is it this is how you generate a soul bound or an account bound nft that cannot be transferred it can only be burnt if you liked watching this video if you understood something if you learned something please let me know by liking this video or if you're new here please consider subscribing i'm not really getting any subscribers anymore not sure what wrong i am doing so please 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 hit that subscribe button if you're new here if you want to send me a message uh, please leave it in the youtube comments and if you have a specific question come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out i hope to see you again next week till then bye bye